Hi all, in this video we will see SQL Server, Colis and Eisenhower functions and their purpose. In general when we look into these two, uh, we might thought these two serve the same purpose but there are plenty of differences between Colis and Eisenhower functions. So first we will see the introduction about these two. Coolies and is null function returns first non null value. Here I have two sample select statements for is null and coolies. We'll run them in SQL Server and see the result. So these two is null and select. When I execute these two, we can see both functions return the same value as an output. I will change the query a little bit. Same one one. Again same one one. So then uh, what is the major differences between these two functions? Now we will see the differences. Colis and is null. Colis supports more than two input parameters, whereas is null supports only two input parameters. For Colis, I will show you a sample example uh, with employee ID, first name, middle name, last name. Second, null again, it's null and third imply with null, null, James. So, here when I use Colis function on first name, middle name, last name. I will get the output as Sam Adam James means it takes more than one more than two as an input parameter and returns first non null value as an output. We will uh, run the same in our SQL server. I will take uh, adventures database create table test imply id as an int first name where care last name now I will insert the same data that we seen in Excel insert into test values 1 comma so the values are like as Null, null, one row, null, Adams, and last one is James. Now I will run this table, select start from test. So here we have three records, 
first name, middle name, last name. I haven't seen the entire ID. Okay, no problem. Select coolies. Coolies. First name. Middle name. Last name. From test. Now it returns Sam, Adam, James. So it returns the first non non value from these three columns. So here uh, Colis takes input as multiple parameters more than two. I will write a simple Colis function with multiple nulls. See null, 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 and sorry, get date. Simply it returns the get date value. So this is the main uh, advantage of Coles compared to isNull. And the second one is uh, Coles is a standard function defined by ISO and C SQL standards, whereas isNull is a simple uh, transact SQL specific. And other thing is uh, using uh, Coles we can do uh, data pivot. See, uh, I will show you one sample example. Uh, I will take a table from Adventures database. Now, I will drop this table. Uh, now, I am taking a table from Adventures uh, department table. I am running a uh, simple select statement to get the name of the department and running this table here I will select the department name and from the group name group name uh, execute to general and administration whatever it may be so we have only five names in execute to general administration group now uh, I will take a variable called department name declare department name dn simply with we are care some thousand and select dn equal to coolies so here just I will append the text to uh, our declared variable department name plus name just here plus indicates the concatenation of the strings and another variable colon so uh, now uh, I will take the data from our department table from some human departments where this group now uh, I will select the data of our variable now see so all these uh, names will be concatenated nothing but for these uh, rows will be displayed as a single column using colas human resource finance information services so it's a small uh, trick to do pivot using police function and resulting expression data type is highest data type presence of all input arguments uh, whereas in for isnl 
resulting expression is a data type of first input for this we'll see a sample example of how the data type would be written in these two cases again i will declare it to variable x and y x as varchar uh, 3 and uh, input by default i am assigning the value as null and another variable y uh, with varchar of 10 and i am assigning the input 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 0 now i will use colis and isnal function for these two input variables colis of x comma y and again colis of y comma x is y and is x now isnal is col1 and renaming it as Pole two and is null. Again, is null of y comma x is into is n one. Now, if we run the query, we can see the output as for colis. The output would be one to zero. All the ten characters will be displayed. Whereas for is null x y, the output is only one two three. Whereas is null y x, the output would be one to zero. So see, here this is the data type uh, output for collision and is null. Coll collis uh, take highest Presence of input parameters, whereas is null take the first input argument data type as the highest presence. So that's why for is null it is displaying only one to three. For colis always it is displaying the highest data type presence. And suppose if all inputs with untyped are null, then colis returns the error, whereas is null returns a uh, integer value for all untyped nulls so for this also we can see an example uh see say, take this example colis null 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 it will return error so colis must be an expression that is not the null constraint whereas is null Requires only two input parameters. Just it returns a null value. Just uh, we will apply small uh, logic here. Just we do cast of null as an int and see the result. For this, cast of null as int. So. It will returns null. Means uh, just uh, here the null is now a uh, typed uh, data type. Be whereas before the colis function has two nulls, those are untyped nulls. So that's why it returns uh, error. So th that is uh, untyped null returns error with colis, whereas typed null will not return error. And other thing is the same uh, data type. Now we'll see what if. the inputs are of different data type families here also the same rules are still apply for example just take a colis expression that accepts character string as a first input and an integer as a second input here also integer has a higher data type precedence than a character string uh, therefore sql server tries to convert the uh, value whatever the string value that we gave to an integer and Naturally, it fails a uh, conversion error. Uh, we will see select a b c n one. So it returns a uh, conversion failure error. 